Blessed be witches and welcome to another episode of Witch Please. It is I, Odin the Seer, and today we are going to be doing another part to our resin series. Today we are going to be talking about frankincense. Now, we know it is one of the things that the three wise men brought to baby Jesus. But what really do we know about the magical properties of frankincense? I have used frankincense for a very, very long time. And to be honest with you, I think frankincense was one of the first botanicals that I ever purchased for myself. Because part of the craft, in my opinion, is a self-exploration. When I think of self-exploration, I think of frankincense. Even more so than myrrh. We all have a tendency to allow ourselves to be caught up in illusion. We all have a tendency of suppressing ourselves, who we are, um, by way of buying into illusions, by way of seeing things in a certain way that takes away our power, right? That allows us to victimize ourselves. To me, frankincense is one of the foremost resins when it comes to bringing the darkest aspects of who you are. Now, I don't mean the negative aspects. I'm talking about the darkest aspects, the unseen aspects of who you are into the light. It allows for you to be able to shift your consciousness, to be able to gain perspective. Now, I've worked with many deity in my time, and one thing that I found to be a commonality with deity is that they always say, draw the connections, Odin. Draw the connections. In ritual work, especially when it comes to trying to understand my surrounding and why things happen the way they, they do, I have found that frankincense has been one of the best ways for me to be able to really gain an insight and a perspective that I may not have had before. Now, when I'm working with myrrh, I find that myrrh has a way of being able to uplift and fortify and protect. However, frankincense allows for a spiritual evolution. So, a lot of you may be thinking, well, why would you want to put this spiritual evolution, this spiritual aspect into your magic? Well, witches, let me explain this to you. If you cannot find it within yourself, you will never be able to manifest it outside of yourself. So, if you take the time, put in the energy, and use this blessed botanical to help you know thyself, draw connections, understand the self, why you do what you do, what is, the, what is it that you truly want, to allow yourself to see things in a completely different way that will afford you the ability to be able to not feel guilt, not feel fear, to be able to understand and see things in a way that allow you to work from a place of love. Now you see, we hold trauma, we hold anger, we hold all of these different things, yet we don't always have the ability to see from someone else's perspective. And that can be a serious danger to us. There's always three sides, at least three sides to every story. Yours, theirs, and somewhere in the middle is the truth. How many times have you assumed something about a person, or assumed something about a situation, just to come to find that that was really not the way it was. It was completely different. Well, frankincense can give you a little bit more insight. It can allow for you to connect the deepest self to the whole and see a bit clearer of what exactly is going on. This power also allows you to be able to free yourself, to emancipate yourself, to really understand how God works, understand how the universal consciousness works on this plane of existence, how we are interconnected. Now, a lot of people have used frankincense when it comes to astral travel. The simple reason for this is because frankincense, again, having the ability to be able to work on the deepest self can also allow you to be able to 
move away from the body to be able to connect to the whole again in a way that is outside of the illusions and limits that we perceive to have by conditioning. So, as you can tell, I have a passion for frankincense. Frankincense is, for me, one of the foremost spiritual, evolutionary, enlightening resins you will ever work with. Now, from another perspective, frankincense heals anxiety and depression, mainly when the anxiety comes from illusion and depression comes from illusion, from not being able to see the bigger picture, the whole. Because you see, when you're able to see the whole, when you're able to see everything, what ends up happening is that illusion falls away. And there's a certain level of peace that comes with that. The peace that can actually alleviate anxiety and depression. Frankincense is the way to go. Another reason for this is that frankincense has been long used for coming of spirits, contacting spirits. It is associated with all forms of spirit work, be it external spirit or internal soul. It is about connecting to it. Now, people automatically assume that because we are in this body, because our soul is in this body, and our consciousness is in this body, that we are connected to it. And that is not true. It takes work to connect to your soul. It really does. We have to put in an effort. I look at the soul in the same way that I look at spirit. You need to connect with it. You need to connect with the deities. You also need to connect with the soul, the yod within. As you can see, my bottle is almost done, darling. I'm forever using this. I like my home to be real. I like it to be a place that will, um, a vibration that can sustain spirit and soul activity in my home. So I will burn this regularly to be able to keep the vibrations in a way that allows for blessings to come into my world. Because, you see, frankincense also is great at keeping negativities at bay, which is a wonderful, wonderful thing. So if you think of it being able to create an environment that healthy spirit and soul can, can run free, but yet keep negativity away from you, so that you can truly feel what we are intended to feel, and that is connectivity, bliss, joy, happiness, love. If we are able to hear the deepest self speak to us outside of the chattering mind, when we can hear the divine speaking to us, when we know that we are all connected, that allows for us to be able to feel sympathy and love and the importance of our fellow man. This is a powerful state to be in. This will facilitate wonderful magical experiences, spiritual experiences, and allow you and provide you with the foundations to build upon, to be able to grow with, to be able to manifest from. You can't build a strong house on shaky foundation. However, if you get this, the consciousness and the soul connected, if you allow for yourself to be a conduit, a middle pillar of all that is, was, and ever will be, you will find that you now have the capacity and the ability to affect real magic. Any witch that is worth their salt knows that true magic starts from within. True magic does not hold by illusion. It emanates from the very essence of who you are. Remember, we have all come from the goddess and god, and onto the goddess and god, onto the consciousness we will all return. We were promised the ability to mold our realities to whatever we so desire. 
So all magic starts from within. Frankincense assists you with the within, allowing you to fortify and build a foundation that is conducive to mastery of your craft. And that is our episode for today, which is if you have not subscribed, you need to press subscribe, join the Witch Please family, and do not miss out on a thing. You can follow us on Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, as well as Facebook. You can always send me a personal email at witchpleaseofficial at gmail.com, or you can leave a comment below. If you have not subscribed, you know you need to press that bell icon, press subscribe, because you don't want to miss out on a thing. <laughs> I said it before, and I will say it again. It is a pleasure to have you in my world. It is an honor to have you in my magic. And you are always in my heart. I will see you again on another episode of Witch. <laughs> Please. I love you, boo-boos. Bye-bye.